And one thing I love about all four of these virtues is we talked about masculinity as being like innate and being in our wiring, but strength, courage, mastery, honor are all developable virtues. Developable? Like things that can be developed from within if you put in the work. It's not like you're born with strength and if you don't have it, you have no, like, no chance to get strength. You're, you're not born with courage. Like courage is something that you develop over, over time. So I guess for the guys hearing this, like, I don't even know where, where, where I would take this. It's like, if we're unsure of where we fall in, in, in our masculinity, what are some steps that a guy can begin to take? I know you're not a coach here, so maybe this isn't the right question to ask you. Um, but yeah, where, where can a guy begin to at least start down? Path? Obviously pick up the book and read it, but from there, what is, what is something tactical to develop the tactical virtues, I guess is a question. Well, I mean, uh, you know, I get that question a lot, obviously. And, and, uh, the easiest thing is like, do you have any friends? <laughs> I mean, really, because okay, everything I'm saying is like, you need a group of peers. Uh, do you have yeah. a group of peers that are worth it? Well, the answer to that we know for most men is no, right? Like, I know. We know that there's a, there's a, there's a friendship, uh, crisis in the world Absolutely. with men. Absolutely. And you need to, that's something that you need to work on. And I get all kinds of guys, man. I mean, I'm running a group right now and I, I don't have a problem with that with my group, maybe with people applying and stuff like that. It's like, uh, uh, you know, dudes want brotherhood all the time. They say they want brotherhood and accountability and they want that they've heard that they should want those things and they want those things and whatever. But the dude who really wants it will get in the car for, and drive for five hours to go get it. You know, like uh, that, you know, it's like you, you have to make time in the modern world. If you don't have, yeah, it's easy to say you want those things, but then you're busy and things come up and uh, and, and then people are used to operating that way. With, but male friendship takes a really long time to develop uh, because we have a high trust threshold. You know, like men don't like instantly like, oh, hey, we shook hands. Now we're best friends. Girls will kind of like, they'll, they'll like share super emotional stuff like right off the bat dudes that probably won't happen you know like uh my oldest friend is when i was driving trucks uh you know i i talked to him maybe once every six months now but it's like we were never it's like we talked yesterday every time we talk because we spent nine hours a day in a delivery truck together for like three or four years <laughs> and so we know each other you know and so that's men need that kind of time and that's why military guys have so much they have all that time to develop those friendships and people have their friends from high school and things you need all that time so if you're going to have male friends you need to make time and and, and go out of your way uh, because otherwise it's not going to happen uh and uh you know i i moved to a new city a while ago i mean that's a struggle i have to i have to like i'm like well okay well i don't have anyone to hang up with i guess i need to like work on that you know like i need to go and you know make the extra effort with people that i think are worth making the effort for um, and the other thing I, I always say, uh, which is a broken record thing, and it's kind of like uh, everybody says it anymore. But uh, I mean, I, I think some kind of martial arts. Uh, you can go to the gym. I mean, you can work on strength at the gym, and you should. I mean, I do. I, I've already been there today. Uh, but uh, you should work on strength. But no one talks to you at the gym unless there are very specific gyms that you go to that are like talking gyms. Uh, you know, like sometimes powerlifting gyms are that way, and sometimes like. You know, there are certain kind of gyms that are like that, but not your globo gym that most people go to. Everybody has their headphones in. No one's going to talk to you. And so you, with martial arts, you're about to punch somebody. So they, they kind of like, or strangle them or whatever. You're having an interaction that's fairly intimate. <laughs> you're, having, you're having an interaction. You get to know them in a different way too. I mean, you, you don't get to see this guy just fronting at the gym if you're rolling with him, you kind of find out if he's supposed to right away, <laughs> you know, like, is this guy going to try really hard? Is he not going to try really hard? Like, uh, it, what does he do under pressure? All those things, you know more about them in that way. And so it's a really good environment, I think, to find other men who interact with that and also to earn your place you know, in a group of men. Now, it's like, no matter what, if you go in that room, everybody knows kind of who, where you're at in the, in the uh, status chain. You know, like, uh, you know, martial arts, sometimes you have belts or whatever, but uh, it's, it's also like, even with the belts, there's even beyond that, there's, there's levels of like, who's the best of this guy and, you know, in this level and, and, uh, he, that guy's going to give you a hard time and all this, you have all that interaction. And so you have kind of this makeshift, you know, band of, of peers. And so it's really good to find those and, and work on that. And that's the presence of other men who push you is probably going to develop your tactical virtues and your masculinity more than anything else. Uh, 
You know, that's that's what you really we all really need that around us. And you know, a dude who's gonna man, I think one of my my group, one of my uh, guys who's a coach, uh, shamed me the other day. Uh, <laughs> it, it, uh, he, uh, he, he, uh, we were doing a push up challenge and he, he created something like 300 push ups for us to do in a day. And they were spread out, but I'm like, this is tedious, you know? And, uh, <laughs> we got to the point, you know, we've been doing this for like a month, like uh, anywhere from like 60 to like 300 push ups a day. And, um, uh, and I was like, um, I'll get to those sometime. You know, like I might pick them up of some tomorrow and catch them up. He's like, it was like the end of the challenge. And he's like, it's not like you're the leader and people look to you for, you know, <laughs> as a model or anything. I was like, God damn it. And so then I had to go and do all the push ups. You know, <laughs> we all need somebody to, to yank our chain a little bit sometimes and be like, hey, people are watching. You know, like you should do what you, know, you should do. You should make sure you're uh, living up to your standard.